What's up, guys? This is Pedro from My Stuttering Life, where you hear the good, the bad, the very ugly. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry, but through it all, just know that you are not alone. So let's get started. So we're talking about this is the week of National Stuttering Awareness Week. And so this is awesome because we get to talk about stuttering we get to raise awareness we you know bring it up to the forefront you know talk about it get it out out there because you know we're we're out there we're everywhere we're global there are people who stutter from all over the world and when i was growing up when i was in grade school, I thought I was the only one. I thought that it was only Pedro and that uh, I went through all the hard times. I went through all the heartache, the anguish, the stress, the frustration, everything. I thought I was just all by myself. And, you know, after you are mocked and teased and beat up and, I mean, just everything because of your stutter, I mean, it really does break you down. And so I did not meet another person who stuttered until I was in my 20s. Go figure. I I began to stutter at the age of five. All y'all know my story. When I was five years old, I was walking home from school, and I was attacked by a German Shepherd. And from that point on, I was, you know, I was having a hard time with my speech. Um, I didn't speak for a whole year. I couldn't, you know, from the shock and the trauma. And so what I had to do is my, my parents put me in speech therapy. So I had speech therapy all through grade school, all through junior high, high school. I had speech therapy while I was in the military, plus hypnosis, and in college. So what you're hearing is... 20 years of a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, because I went from zero fluency. I'm about, I want to say 85, 90%, you know, but I still stutter. I still stutter, but I learned to embrace it. I have accepted it. And there was a, a comment on one of my YouTube videos that I shouldn't label myself as a stutter. And I responded, uh, it, it doesn't define who I am. I have a stutter, but I'm Pedro. I'm Pedro. I'm still doing my thing. I just have a stutter. And the reason why I do these videos is to let other people who know that they are not alone. They are not alone because there, there are a lot of people on social media, a lot of awesome people. There's J- 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 Jacqueline. There's Ramasiva. Um, there's, oh my God, there are so many YouTubers and podcasters who stutter and they are doing their own thing. And it is really awesome because they're out there like all of us and they're just living their life. They're living their life. They are being positive and they are sharing their stories with the world. Like what I'm doing right now, because we're all in this together. You are not alone. You're not. If you think you are, hop on the interweb. As my, as my grandma says, hop on the interweb and Google stuttering and YouTube, stuttering and podcasting. I mean, and you will find a lot of awesome people out there who are just like you, just like me. They have a stutter and they're out there. They're pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and they're doing their own thing. And now that we're in this pandemic, we're in self-isolating, self-quarantine, I mean, this is the new normal. So if, if you are, what's the word I'm looking for? If, if you are one of the ones who are still able to work 
from home and you're having to do everything electronically like zoom meetings where you're on video skype where you know everyone is on i mean for me i had to quickly adapt because this is what i do so i had to breathe and i still disclose i tell everybody i have a stutter i may have a hard time but i'm going to get through this so if you hear me have having a block don't adjust your computer <laughs> don't fix it don't be pushing all those buttons because it's just pedro i'm just having a block but guess what i'm going to get over it because i'm going to breathe and i'm just going to do my thing so i just wanted to let everyone know that this is national awareness for st st stuttering week and that you know we sh shouldn't confine ourselves to just that w w one week you know we should be just out there just educating everybody as to what is a stutter you know what they might hear what they might see because it's all about education it's all about educating yourself and so that way when you know better, you do better. And for the next person that comes along that has a stutter, you will be better equipped to address it. So there was one thing that I wanted to bring up is, the, you know, that there are many people out there um, who... And, 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 you know, they have r reached out to me, you know, they can cure my stutter with this pill or with, you know, this, that or other. And you know what? I'm just, yeah, uh, you know me. I, I, I keep it real with you. There is no cure for stuttering. For some people, they grow out of it. If you have it as a, as a child, you know, you may grow out of it. If 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 you're older, then you're pretty much stuck with it. You have it. And so, you know, um, I've had mine for, let me see, 43, 44 years. 44 years. The, I'm 49 right now. Um, the, the, this year I'll be 50. 50. Can you believe that? 50 years old. Although I feel like I'm 12, so. You know, I try to have fun every day, but I've had this since I was five years old. And so, you know, I have been through it all, everything you can possibly imagine in life I've dealt with as, as a stutterer. I tried CBD. It wasn't for me. I was like a zombie. I was like, I'm just tired all of the time. I tried Zoloft, you know, I tried some other med med medications and I said, you know what, I will, I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to do it the Pedro way. I'm going to do meditation, which I just s s started last year. People, my people, let me tell you about meditation. You know, I thought I was that that you know, I mean, it was this this hoo ha and hold a crystal over your head and you know go go on the beach and you know just no, meditation is awesome. So every morning, I wake up, I go to my bathroom, and I sit for ten minutes. I have a chair in there, FYI. So I sit for ten minutes and I breathe. I breathe. I'm focusing on my breathing because for me, and I can only talk for me because, you know, we're all different. We're all different in our speech journey. But for me, breathing is the key for me. So I breathe for 10 minutes. I focus on my diaphragmatic breathing. And I focus on my day. I do my positive affirmations. You know, this is going to be a good day. I'm going to be very productive. I'm going to get things all done. And if I get hung up on a word, anything, I'm just going to breathe. And then I'm going to get the word out. 
you know so that's what I do I do take supplements because you know I'm older so you know I take my vitamins you know I drink my water but oh but I have my coffee here it's not Jamaican Miss Angela Marston it's Colombian so just FYI hold on so much better now all right thank you so much all right so what we are talking about is st is this new this pandemic this COVID-19 it has pushed all of us out of our comfort zones and you know I know many of you have reached out and told me that you've had Skype calls or Zoom meetings and you have failed miserably you couldn't get this out you couldn't get that out well guess what that's me too that's me too but I breathe and then I get it out because what you have to say has value and you will get it out and every time that I fail I learn from it I learn from every single failure so that way I can apply it to the next time and then the next time because as you are doing that day by day by day I'm building momentum I'm building m my confidence and there was a comment on on one of my posts that that confidence is having perfect speech confidence is having no st st stutter at all I'm good I'm going to, to disagree with that because when I'm confident I still stutter but the main difference is I don't dwell on it move on life goes on I go on with my day so I'm confident in Pedro because I love Pedro it took me a long time a long time to love myself accept myself embrace myself because you know growing up with a stutter I've heard it all I was called slow I was called stupid I was called special um, I was called a lot of things that I can't see on YouTube because I'll get banned or whatnot. Because I mean, it's I mean, these words were just really rough and raw, horrible words. And so after you hear that for a long time, you tend to believe it. You do, and you know, after year after year after year of hearing that you're dumb, you're stupid. You're slow. You're special. It's ingrained in you. And, you know, y'all know this. When I was 14, you know, I was I was in my dark days. It was really dark. Didn't have any friends. I mean, just nothing. You know, so I was at that point where I just wanted to say, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done and so one night so one night I grabbed my dad's gun I walked out of the house and went down the street because you know it's rough not having any friends it's rough not having anyone to talk to Every day, you know, in school is just horrible. You're mocked, you're teased. Nobody wants to sit with you at lunch. You eat your lunch sometimes in the restroom. You eat your lunch in the janitor's closet. You know, after some years, that weighs on you. And at that point in my life, when I was 14, I said, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. This is, it's, it's way, way too much. And so I made a choice that I was going to end it all. And so I grabbed my dad's gun, walked down the street, and there was an, un, an overpass. Yeah, there was an overpass. And so I went under it, and that's where I was going to do it. 
and something peculiar happened. You know, living in the South, you know, Corpus Christi, we lived in uh, Manaville, Cal Island area. And, you know, there were hardly any homeless people. We never saw homeless people. And then one night, there was a man who was under the overpass. And, um, you know, he looked homeless because, you know, his clothes were all ragged and, you know, um, hi- hygiene was, you know, unkempt. And, and so he approached me to ask what was I doing there, you know, at midnight. And I said, I, I'm going to end it, uh, you know. You know, just tired of the pain, tired of the pain. And he told me that we all have a purpose on this earth. We're all here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. You are here for a reason. We all have a gift. We all have a gift. And you need to share that gift with the world. And I, I don't, it, it was just the darkness, the darkness, it went away. The darkness went away. And I turned back around and I went back home. Never saw this person ever again. And mind you, we drive under that overpass on a daily basis. So I believe, I believe that God puts people in our path for a reason. It was It was meant for that person to be there. And that's when I saw the light. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I've been through hell for years. And and that's where the darkness came from. But at that point, the darkness went away. I saw light at the end of the tunnel. I graduated from high school. I joined the military, U.S. Air Force. I went all over the world. And then um, I came back out. Um, I went to college. I was pre-law, but, you know, y'all all heard my s- story. After I watched that a movie, My Cousin Vinny, I changed my major from pre-law <laughs> to psychology. So I have a bachelor's in psychology. I have a master's in industrial organizational psychology. And life is good. I'm married. I have a teenager. That's a whole other podcast, YouTube, because, you know, right now he's 16 years old and, you know, the hair is all up and it's all about the phone. And yeah, that's a whole other video. But I am blessed. I'm blessed. I have people around me who love me. I have a, a, a lot of positive people around me. And with this week being National st- 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 Stuttering Awareness Week, I just want to let all y'all know that we're awesome. We are creative. We are resourceful. We think outside the box because we have to. We have to work 20 times harder than everybody else. But it's what we do. It's called survival. And we are surviving. We're prospering. We're everywhere. We are doctors. We are businessmen. We're congressmen. We're congresswomen. We just, we are out there living positive, happy lives. You know, we have a stutter, but guess what? Life goes on. The world is not going to stop because I can't say my name. Not going to, nope, it doesn't. So, you know, I'm doing my thing. You know, I do take supplements because, you know, I'm old, so I need my vitamins. So, um, you know, I I still drink 
my coffee because you know I'm addicted. So I don't know if y- if y'all know this, but when I was in the military, we had to pull n- night guard duty for twelve hour shifts. This was during the um, Persian Gulf War, nineteen ninety ninety one, and so I just had a hard time staying awake. Um, and that's when I that's when I began to drink coffee when I was twenty one. And not only did I drink coffee, but I would add to it Dr. Pepper or some Coke, Pepsi, you know, for that extra caffeine because I had to be up for 12 hours. So that's when I began to drink coffee was in the military. So it's all good. It's all good. So I want to let everybody know in this pandemic, in this COVID-19 and all of this new normal, it's pushing us out of our comfort zone. So we are having to be a little bit more braver, which, you know, we can all do because we're hashtag awesome. And if, if, if you get hung up, if you have a, f- a failure, guess what? We've all been there. We've all been there. Reach out to me. Drop me a comment. Say, Pedro, you know, I had a Zoom call. It was just horrible. It I had to just, you know, hit that button and get me out of it. We've all, we've all been there. We've, I mean, we are a community. We're an awesome a community. There are m- many of us out there. You know, there are a lot of awesome organizations. There's Camp Say. There's the National Institute for Stuttering. There's a National Stuttering Association. There are a ton of organizations out there to help. And there's a lot of us on social media. Um, You can find me on Insta, as the young kids say. I'm on Insta, Instagram. Um, I was on MySpace, you know, because I'm old. I was on MySpace. Um, I'm on the Facebook. I'm on the Twitter. I'm, I'm, oh, hold on. I'm also on the TikTok. I do whoa. Or, you know, <laughs> I try to do whoa. I'm fi- I'm almost 50, so I don't do the whoa, you know, that well. But hey, so I'm also on a TikTok. You can find me everything. My st- my st- 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 stuttering life. And, you know, we're all just doing our thing. We're all just out there living our best life. And so I, I, I want to leave you with this. We're all different in our speech journey. We all have that common denominator that we all have a, st- a stutter. But the difference is you are not alone. You're not. You have all of us. There are many of us out there. Jacqueline on YouTube. Ramasiva, podcaster and YouTube. I'm Angela Marston from Jamaica. She's on YouTube. Um, Callum Schofield. He's a brand new podcaster. He's awesome. And uh, Daniel Rossi. He has a cool um, cartoon. Um, He has a podcast called Stuttering is Cool. And I mean, we are just out there just doing our thing. Just letting everybody know that you're awesome. If you're a person who stutters... You're awesome. You're creative. You're resourceful. So I hope you'll have an awesome day. I want you to leave me a comment and l- and let me know how you are doing in this pandemic, this COVID-19. Is it pushing you out of your comfort zone? And how are you adjusting? Or are you adjusting? Because we're all in this together. We are. We're all in this together. So I want you all to have an awesome day. Draw me a comment. Like and share, and we will talk again.